what's good guys welcome to yet another video i'm back with another story time so grab a chair take a seat and chill because i'm about to spill some tea so okay guys it's 2016 end of the year um i was in grade 11. so i have this friend of mine very close friend of mine so we knew we had knew we had known each other um since grade seven okay fine so it turned out that our parents like we're so close mm -hmm. Our parents were so close and we were also friends. Okay, fine. So this one time it was um, December. Um, my friend's sister was gonna have like a... She was gonna get married. But before you get married, so there was like minor ceremony that have been done and stuff. Okay, shop. So my mom and I will often frequent her, um, her house during uh, December holidays because like um, she was needed for some assistance like she had to assist them with certain stuff pertaining the ceremony okay cool so whenever um, the parents will be doing that, that um, my friend and I will chill with her sisters and we'll have like some drinks um, that's here yeah, like strong ball and anything you know okay but again we're an age we're not allowed to drink but we were okay not that much though because now i'm a light drinker i'm a light drinker so i just sit there and there okay sharp so we we, we freaking um her house the um the days passed and the, the day of the ceremony came and it was a great ceremony okay cool um this one time my friend told me like your friend you know what i have been invited to this new year's eve um event by this guy um okay so this guy stayed um in the township Elokshini and so now we're staying like in the run um side of, of of the town okay fine she told me this so they invited us they want us to go with them because they're gonna be playing um there's this like uh tavern so there are like so many taverns like around our hotel but uh, there's this one there's um you cross a road like uh you, you cross the river like there's the bridge you cross the road and you get to it and there's the other one like that is on the other side of the river but they are like routes for cars um and pedestrians as well okay fine so uh these guys were like djs so he told she told me that um that guy was gonna bring his friend because they're both dj like you know they are like a duo okay fine i'm like yo okay cool sounds like it's gonna be a dope um <laughs> but the issue was how were we gonna <laughs> ask our parents to go to proof because like we were strictly like um prohibited we're not allowed to go to proof let alone like having to consume because parents know this like in the taverns there's this liquor so if we go there they knew that we're gonna like consume liquor so like they were just not gonna have it they were not gonna allow us to go there I, my friend told me told me that she was gonna sneak out i was like damn i also need like to make a plan but i was like you know what i can't i can't really lie to my mom she was gonna see that something was off you know my mom knows me very well so i was like hey i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like sneak out i'm just gonna have to come up with a plausible story that i'm gonna spin to my mom so that she allows me to go my idea was not gonna tell her that I was going to prove. Cause we're underage. We're like 17, so we're not allowed, you know, to go anywhere near liquor stores or lunch or taverns or bars. Okay, fine. Um came uh, the New Year's Eve, the 31st of December. Um, so I, I, I go, I went to my mom and like mom, um my friends cousin invited us to her birthday so my mom knew that cousin because we're in the same grade but like different streams because she was in general we were inside so she knew her kisha so i told my mom like yo mama mom my friend's cousin invited us to go to come to it like to her party she's gonna be hosting like a new year's eve party so she wants us to go there okay my mom didn't mind because it was not that far so she thought like oh, nah, i'm just gonna be safe because it's around the hood this was not like it's not that far auntie guys we're going to the roof <laughs> okay fine i spin the story to my mom my mom agrees she allowed me to go there i fine i tell i tell my friend i'm like your friend my mom is agree 
my friend is like, oh, okay, I'm gonna sneak out, we're gonna meet at the shop. So, uh, yeah, the shop was at the center. Okay, cool. Um, I prepared. I um, got ready to go to the grove. Okay, fine. We, I, I, I went to the shop, met my friend there, and we waited for the guy's car. Okay, we waited there. The guys came. Like around 11, the guys came. They fetched us, and we went to the grove. <laughs> okay, we got to the grove, right? Guys, it's nice. It's a vibe. Everybody is there. Like our schoolmates everyone was there it was fully packed i'm telling you guys it was fully packed it's a vibe so we got in so you guys are with us who were not like with the crowd who were in the dj section because we were with the guys the dj who were playing that night okay fine we got there they asked us what we wanted to drink we said you wanted strong oh because this what's we knew that's, that's the kind of liquor or beverage that we knew at that time strong bow. and mind you guys i told you that strong bow was an in thing that year okay fine they bought us strong bow okay or oh, we were sipping sipping having fun having fun it was a vibe you guys like okay as the night um went by the guys a fight broke oh <sighs> I tell like the thing that guys now a problem was starting to grow. So a fight broke um in the tavern, like bottles were flying. I kid you not you guys like it was a scary movie. Ooh, Cause like there were groups and then for only god knows what the reason they started fighting because you know people how like how people become when they have when they have consumed a lot of liquor like because like at the time at around the time like almost everyone was lost like everyone was lost except for us because like we're sipping pillow we're not gonna like, consume a lot of liquor because we're gonna get into trouble in our homes so fine i mean you really like an arm light drinker so obviously i wasn't gonna consume that much i was just sipping so that I was tipsy and be, you know, in sync with everyone. Okay, fine. A fight started. Um, started there. Okay, they managed to salvage it and maintain peace. Okay, now everything went back to normal. Uh, people, uh, people started enjoying again. But you guys were so scared now. Like we were so scared. Like we literally regretted right there and there as soon why did we even come to the group at the first place but okay fine the next the night nice went by everything was nice everything was a vibe like people were grooving okay now because it, it was like we're no longer scared um it was nice it was a vibe okay fine we, we, like at first when we were there like for the first few hours like we kept minding the time so that we will go back like so our homes safe and at, at the time, like at the prescribed time, at this, the time that they had like given us, said for us to come back. Okay, fine. So now that everything was nice, it was a vibe, like we didn't pay much attention to the time now. We just like in the mood, like enjoying everything was nice. It was a vibe. Okay, fine. Okay, um, the time went by and then this, the sun started to rise up, which means now it was like around seven. We're like, shh. Like we're like shooks. It is in the morning now. Like my dude wanted to come back. Like it's around like four to five. When we check outside, like the sun is up. We told we like we told those guys that no guys, we want to go back home. They were like, yo, Tina, we are still playing Pella. We are paid to be here, so we need to play until the agreed time. We were like, shucks, what are we gonna do now? Like okay fine like we've run out of options our only option now was that we, we had to walk back home now we had to walk back home and we had to cross a river mind you they fetched us with the car now when they're coming back we have like to walk Lapo, we are tfc like my friend was a bit slouched okay fine we exit like the place we go outside and keep seeing now we know the like the sun has clearly rising it's in the morning like yo we knew then that that's okay now we had like got it into trouble okay fine we exit the place we left so now we're trying to walk faster like we were literally like running 
but mind you have consumed like liquor so you can't really like walk faster with um like liquor in your system you just cannot it's undoable so we tried you guys to walk faster but now we kept like falling <laughs> Like we kept like yo guys we're tripping like we we'll trip more often. Lapo we're trying to get to our home faster. Yo guys, it was crazy. And then on our way we met this girl. Like she asked us, what is wrong? Why are you running so fast? It's her, like we spin the story to her that we went with these guys, the DJ guys, uh, the DJ guys, um, to this certain place where they were playing, and now like we literally into going into our tra into trouble because we have told our parents that we're gonna take like around four to five and now it's so it's so late it's so late get you guys like it was already in the morning this girl laughed at us she was like yo guys didn't you see didn't you notice that it was like getting late because now it's already in the morning and the sun is already up we like girl we were inside the tavern like inside it's dark you can't really see what's happening outside like we kept like we thought it was we still had time to be there and yo the sun is already rising up i this girl laughed at us she passed okay cool we tried to walk as fast as we could and we had to cross the river and one thing you guys you know about liquor and the river is that like if you get into water or you try to cross water with liquor in your system it's gonna be aggravated you're gonna be more sloshed it's gonna like it's gonna be activated and you'll be sloshed or drunk all over again yo guys as you like we like about to cross the river did you not fall into that running water yo guys they did not fall into into that running water but luckily it wasn't like a big river it was just like a small running water okay fine we fell into it got a little bit wet and then we got even more sloshed yo guys like our day kept getting worse and worse you guys i kid you not okay fine we managed um to cross over the river and then separated our ways like my friends took away to her house i took mine as well okay fine i got home. okay i got back home there with some of my drinks because i did not finish my beverage yet right like because i was just sipping and not drinking as much okay fine got to got back to home and then like because i knew my mom was not gonna, was not gonna allow me to put like my beverages in her fridge nobody does that you guys you do not you do not put your liquor in my mom's fridge so let alone like knowing that i had consumed some by you guys so this was gonna go down so i was like i'm not gonna risk it you know what i did i just took um some of the beverages that i had left heated them like in a small like bush or trees like at home but guess what my younger brother sold me <laughs> my younger brother sold me so okay i hit them got into the house sat down and watched tv because i wanted to come in so i was gonna like assist my mom with the chores with the cooking but when i got home my mom was already done with the spring cleaning with um propelling preparing uh for the new year's lunch like she was here she had literally completed everything yo guys i was so me yo <laughs> i was so embarrassed my, my mom like didn't say anything she just like jumped at me side eyed me didn't say anything continued with whatever she was doing and i just went sat down and watched tv okay as i'm just like trying to calm down you know let my nails down yo my, my younger brother kid yo <laughs> She came bursting out of laughter. I kid you not. Lapo, my mom is in the kitchen, and the kitchen and the sitting room like are, are so close. Like she could literally hear everything that she's discussing on the other room. So okay, fine. My, but my, my younger brother comes to me. Bash. He burst out of laughter. I'm like, yo, I can. So can say, you ain't getting away. Why are you laughing? She's like, I saw you. <laughs> I saw you hiding what you were hiding there. I'm gonna tell my mom. I'm like, yo, I tried to beg him, like, please don't tell my mom. You know that she hates Lika. Like, she always like reprimands us, like, DJ, about Lika. She does not wanna hear a thing. So, yo, I she, she was like, oh, okay, you know what? 
if you don't have any social mama you, you must share that that bear with me i'm like ah, okay fine she can he goes fetches it he hides it yeah and then we try to drink it and then when my mom comes we like hide it behind the sofa <laughs> we like hide it behind the sofa okay fine we drink that bear but then the blackmail you guys the blackmail kept going on like my younger brother whenever he wants to say something from me he was like i'm gonna tell mom what you did in the years if it's either you buy me a time or you give me money to buy whatever it is that he wanted at a particular time you guys i'm telling you he played me me until another year passed you guys yo i am a last born i want a piece <laughs> like he would like i would tell mom or like scream like uh the name of the bear like astro ball and i'm like take a chip in my mom's first <laughs> and mom would, and my mom would just my that she probably like suspected something but she, she just kept it cool and kept it going but yeah you guys that's the story how we literally we were first um to go to go with this dj guy but then like we had to walk back to our house and we almost got into trouble so yeah that's the end of the story time so please you guys let engage in the comment section down below if you've watched until this far don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so that you do not miss any of my future uploads but until then i'm gonna definitely catch you guys on my next video bye